Hey guys, this is Robo Dog here, and this is the first my first video of the channel in the channel. And where I'm gonna do an unboxing today. Um, we have 12 Rubik's cubes. Most of them I'm familiar with, except these three. But I'm sure this is called a windmill cube right here below the pure minx. But before we get into the unboxing, um, I want to explain what we're gonna do in the channel. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of gaming. Very. This probably might be one of the very few. This is gonna be one of the very few unboxings. Um, the games I'm gonna play are gonna include Roblox, Fortnite, Minecraft, FNAF, Adventure Capitalist, and if you have a recommendation, you can say it in the comments, and I'll look into the game. And um. If you look in the um, description below, I'll have a link to my good friend, Captain Marshmallow. Make sure to check out his channel, like and subscribe. Um, he just started, recently started posting again after around a year. And so if you've seen him before, make sure to, and if, you, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Really good friend of mine. So, I guess we can, that's all I have to say about that, and let's get into the unboxing. So, let me just open this up here. Alright, so, we have a book here. Um, yep, this is just a tutorial, how to solve all of these. Um, this looks like it's for the 4x4. Four four. Let's get into the first box here. All right, let's open this up. It looks like we have the scube. It's a very weird one. I don't know how to solve it. Um, this is a speed cube, and I didn't. Um, this is a f looks familiar, but I don't know who it's by. I know it's not chi yi, but the, um, oh, and also here in each of the boxes, it's always going to have one of these, um, tutorials on how to solve it, and, um, maybe also I could teach you all how to solve Rubik's Cubes, so I really like this cube, because just how the way it looks, and it's, when you know how to solve it, it's incredibly easy. So, I think we should get into the next box. Let me just put this back in here. So, the next box we're going to look at, it's the 2x2. Two two. You see right there, yep, 2x2. Two two. A bit trouble opening this. Again, tutorial. This. And we're going to take it out. Yeah. Yeah, this one's very smooth. Yeah, I really like the smooth cubes. Um, I know how to solve this again. Like I said, might teach you all how to solve one. If you're um, very interested. Um, right here. This, look, this is one of the cubes I'm unfamiliar with. It might say in the tutorial what it is, but I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, I've never had one of these before. It's super weird. It's kind of like the scube. Um, let's see what this is called. Ivy cube. It's an Ivy cube. See? Yep. Um, I think one of my friends has one of these Ivy cubes. And I think I might know how to solve it, but I'm not sure. So, well, we got a fourth done here. Let's, so, let's get back. Let's do these other, others. 
Oh, yes, one I really like. The 4x4. Four four. This is where, when you get to the 4x4, four four, when you're going from like the 2x2, two two, the 3x3, three three, they're all very different, but this is when it, you start doing way more advanced um, stuff. It's a little hard to turn, kind of. But when you start playing with, when you start using the Rubik's Cubes a lot, it, um, it starts to become more, more fluid with this turning. So, oh, the tutorials all the way down there. Um, let's get this back in there. And we have eight more to go. And I'm not unfamiliar with most most of these, but I lost mo uh, I lost all most of my Rubik's cubes except one. Um, in the fire. Oh, so I got these all from my grand from my grandparents. Um, oh, this one it's in a wrap. It's wrapping. But this is the mirror cube. Let's get this unwrapped here. Mirror cube, if you know how to solve a three by three, it's easy. But instead of matching up colors, you have to match up, you have to kind of find the shape of it all. So. Well, yeah, I don't think I can get this out right now, but. Um, future videos, again, you'll see this again, um, let's put this back, we'll go into the next one, and I'm hoping later today, um, I'm gonna do my first gaming video, I'm gonna play Roblox, and you can add me at Robodog6067, um, if you want, and you can add my friend Captain Marshmallow at... I think it's Captain Capt underscore Marshmallow. Um, so this is the five by five, um, similar similar to the four by four, but just a little bit more complex. Um, and you know, I, I I think yeah, I see the Mega Minx. That's a really complex one. No, it's not. Incredibly complex if you know how to solve it, like myself. Um, well first, let's get everything surrounding it so we can make so, so I can get this out. Ah, the pyramids. Super easy to solve if you know how. Um, I might even mix it up to show you. Um, let's see here. I guess I'll just show you all how to solve it, actually. So, let's get this all mixed up so we have it all mixed up here so this is how you're going to solve it first you're going to look at these corners the four corners all around so we're going to match up the corners with the colors right here because they're physically connected to this so just turn it once and you got all of that whoops and then now you're going to do that for all the other corners. That's already good. And this is good. So we have that all. And the next one. Oh, we have one more. Next thing is, is to get yellow, 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 like that. And then like blue, 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 red, 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 and green, green, green. So this is what you're going to do. So we have a blue right here. We have blue right here. We're going to move it right here. But that can't work because if you look right here, blue's like far away. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna. Uh, so you're gonna move this right here. No, right here. Bring that there, there. Right there. And then now you got um, blue. And then you should just do be able to turn it once to get all that. And now you're gonna fill in these parts. So what I usually do blue first, you're gonna put that on the bottom. You're gonna find a one that has blue on it 
and then you look at the other color. So that's red. You're going to have it on the red face, which is right here. And then you're going to take the opposite side, lift it over like that, and then bring that down and then back. And then now we have that on the bottom. Now we're going to do that for another one. Blue, green. Bring that to green. And then you're going to move that up. There, down. Got that. And then one more. Is that yellow? Do that. Oh, there, there could occasionally be extra steps. But now I just turn it and I got solved. Let me put this back in here. Almost done. So... Yeah, we got like five more, maybe, yep. So, right here. Um, this is one I think is a windmill cube. Keep on breaking these boxes on accident. tutorial in there oh uh, yeah so this is like a shape-shifting sort of cube so you can it's change its shape will change when you move it um very fluent in the turn I like it but it kind of makes a weird noise it's like yeah it makes a clicking noise um yeah, it's odd that there's no instructions. So, let's we'll grab that. They're all falling. We'll take... We'll put this back in there. Um, And now, I think we've covered eight. So, four more. Ah. Oh, I don't think I explained what this was. This is the mirror cube. Then that's the three, be three by three kind. And this is the two by two kind. It's in wrapping again. Um, let's check if there's a tutorial in there. Nope. But I can explain how to do it yet again, like the three by three. Solve it like a two by two, but instead of matching colors, it's shapes. Three more. Ah, we have the regular three by three here. First one I ever learned how to solve. Um, I can teach you maybe the Friedrichs method on it. I can't get this open. Okay, got it open. Yeah, this has tutorial. Let's see how fluent this is in turning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, very fluent. But yet again, there's that clicking sound. Nothing nothing against clicking. But, yep. Super fun. The 3x3 three three may, be, be, may be the easiest one to learn how to solve. Um, oh, I definitely think it's 3x3 three three and 2x2. Two two. Easiest ones to solve. But then it gets more complex with all these mo like shape shifting mirror cubes, um, four by four and up. I used to have a six by six, but it's not in here. Surprised they had the cube. And then let's see what this is. Twelve sides rotation. My friend had one of these. So you have one um hole in the middle to mix it around. You're gonna put one right there. You're gonna push the push the sphere, put it in there, and then you're gonna keep on moving it around. Um, and then when you're all mixed up, you're gonna move one wherever and try to solve it. I think this one is very complex as complex as well. I may be wrong, so please don't criticize me. Um, one more, the almighty. Mega Mix, or as other people call it, a dodecahedron. 12 sides. 
Um, since I haven't solved one in a while, I forgot some algorithms, but other than that, I know how to solve it. Yeah, kind of hard to turn. Yeah, it's kind of hard to turn. Um, but still very good. Um, it, you definitely have a lot of fun if it's hard to turn or not. Um, oh man, that is it. I don't think they had, um, they do. They definitely have to have a tutorial in here. Um, super easy to solve. Instead of finding, getting a cross, finding a cross, you're going to get a star, put in the corners, and do, like, the first two layers like you would have do, do for a 3x3. Three three. And we'll explain all of that in a future video. Um, so that is it for all of these Rubik's Cubes. Um, it's all of them. And I will see you later. I'll see you all later. And goodbye.